So Trevor, what's going on with condition scoring? Like, what's it all about? With condition scoring, we're using the fat cover on one little part of the body as our measure of the overall condition of the ewe. And it's been validated as a, as a measure of the overall condition. So we, we're looking at the fat cover around the spinal area as our indicator of the condition score of the ewe. We use a ranking score of one to five in, a, in assessing that condition score. With our target being three, we seldom find fives. In fact, they'd be very fat sheep and use that are, that are one or below are certainly uh, often beyond rescuing. So in terms of, of getting throughput, not, in, not, not allowing condition scoring to be too intrusive, it's identifying that one site and, and that one condition score cut off. And it's not an exact science. So you're never going to be 100% effective, effect, uh, accurate. And set, if, if you set out to, to be 100% accurate, it's going to make it way too slow to be a practical tool. Trina, Total Events have come up with a really good way to quickly um, assess one point on, on the sheet. Can you just uh, take us through that uh, really good way how you calibrate your condition scoring? We've validated just assessing the one site, which is the ends of the short ribs. So we're looking purely at the fat cover over the ends of the short ribs. Even now, I calibrate my hands at the start of a session by by using my fingers. So I use that as conditions representing condition score one, that is representing condition score two, that as being what condition score three is going to be like, and when I can't feel the ends of those short ribs, it's condition score four. So it's a very simple way of, of, of creating an expectation of what you're likely to feel when you're putting your hand on use.